The Friars finally returned home Tuesday night, but it looked like the Georgetown Hoyas were going to spoil the homecoming. Down by a few points late in the game, the Friars tightened up. They came back and won this one 73-69. to For head coach Ed Cooley, he said it was a perfect example of his team finding ways to win. Really, really good team win. I'm proud of our guys and, and really proud of how, how we're learning how to win uh, close games. So, but I was proud of our guys. We didn't come out great, but we found a way in the second half to get timely stops, timely free throws, although we missed a lot. But at, you know, at the end of the day, I was really proud of the group and our resiliency to stick with it. The most clutch moment of the game came when Alpha Diallo sank two free throws with 28 seconds left to tie the game. Diallo continues to be one of the more dependable guys on the roster. Yeah, that's definitely it. Just step up and make them. Uh, I got the rebound before that. They fouled me, went to the line. This is the shots I make every day, so I was confident in making them. We play Alpha at five different positions. He's one of the best positionless guys to me in the country. I'm just, I love his versatility and that makes us, and that's, that's what's making us get better and better with he and Isaiah Jackson. You know, you can kind of kind of play chess with them a little bit. 23 seconds later, it was number 24, Kyron Cartwright, who grabbed a clutch board and got fouled to make the game-winning free throws, a situation he says gets preached to the team before the season begins. So every year, before we play our first game, it's a speech. We get it every year. <laughs> the game is going to be a game that we need to win. And it's going to either come down to a made or missed free throw or a rebound to win the game. And uh, the last two games, I was fortunate to grab those two rebounds. Um, it's just, you know, we train all year round for moments like this. And uh, Coach Cooley always tells us we got to be ready for that moment. And I was, uh, fortunately, I was ready for it. I, mean, I really liked what we've done the last two games, to be honest with you, as, as far as, you know, winning in a close, close uh, contest. You know, we're finding ways to win. And when you can do that, you find yourself getting better and better. And what that does is build confidence for when you're in a close game again, because we've been there, done that. The Friars now move along to Saturday afternoon at 4 p.m. when they take on DePaul right here at the Dunk. You can catch that game on the Fox Sports Network or listen to it on the radio on 103.7 FM WEI. From the Dunkin' Donuts Center in Providence, Rhode Island, I'm Nick Rojas, Friars.com.